What's going on everyone? Thank you for joining us again on the Designer YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to make digital stickers in Photoshop. Now, if that sounds good, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and comment any questions you have during or after the video. Let's dive in. So to get started, we need to open up Photoshop. Go all the way up to the top, click File and New. For this particular document, I'm gonna make it 1000 pixels wide, 1000 pixels high, resolution at 72, and the color mode RGB. Then I need to click Create. That will give us a nice white-backed canvas. However, that poses a problem because our sticker border is also gonna be white and it won't show up in our design. So we need to change the background, background color just for our design, just for our creation time, to ensure that we are able to see the new border we create. So go over here to the left-hand side, select the paint bucket tool. I've got my color set to pink, but any color is absolutely fine. It won't show up in the final design. And simply click within the canvas. Next, we need to drag our graphic or doodle into Photoshop. I'm going to just make it slightly smaller. You can see we have a nice ice cream doodle here, which we created in Procreate, exported in a PNG file, and I have now imported it into Photoshop. So the next part of what we need to do is ensure we have the layers panel open. That's this box just over here. If you don't, go over to Window, found at the very top, and then click Layers. Once you do have the layers panel selected and appearing, Right click on the graphic, click Blending Options, locate the Stroke panel, move that out of the way, and you'll see now we have various settings. We can change the stroke size, I'm happy with 32. Ensure the position is set to outside. If it is set to inside, it'll look something like that, which is not really a desired effect for a sticker. The opacity is the level of transparency for the stroke or the border, and the color I've got selected is white. Once I'm happy with the uh, features we've selected, click OK. Now what you'll notice is the blue highlighted area is actually touching the outer parts of the original design and not the new border. Now that's fine normally. However, when you want to add additional effects, the effect will apply only to the original design and not the new changes we've just made. So we need to tell Photoshop we want to include the white border as part of the original design. So when we include something like a shadow, the shadow appears just after the white border and not after the black border. So we need to go over to the layers panel once more, right click, scroll down, rasterize layer style. And what you'll notice now, the blue outer area is touching the white border we've created. Okay, so now to create the drop shadow, once more go back to the layers panel, Right click, blending options, go to drop shadow, ensure it's ticked. And once more, you can edit the features and factors within the panel to your heart's content. You can change the distance of the shadow. For something like a sticker, I, I generally like the shadow quite tight to the, the effect. It's a, essentially a piece of paper, isn't it? It's a, a sticky piece of paper. It's not a house or a car or a large object, a large object that has a large shadow. So. We, we do want the shadow quite realistic, and quite tight to the, uh, to the graphic, okay? So once you've edited this, the various features, once more, click OK. So our graphic is now looking pretty good, ready to export. But before we do that, we need to ensure the background is deleted. Otherwise, when you come to use the sticker within something like GoodNotes or Notability, you will find a white colored border, which is not really ideal. So we need to come over to the layers panel once more, click on the background and simply click delete. If done correctly, you now should see a checkered background, something like this. So to export now we go file, export, save for web. Ensure in file format at the top, we have PNG 24 selected. If you have JPEG selected, you'll notice again, a white backed image appears, which is not ideal, so we need to go back to PNG 24, and once more, ensure transparency is ticked. If it's not, the background will once more appear. Ensure transparency is correct. 
uh, clicked. And then uh, for image size, we set this at the beginning, but you can increase or decrease whatever you prefer. Uh, I'm happy with 1000 by 1000. Simply click save. I'm going to call this ice cream sticker. Hit enter. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you liked it, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future graphic design tutorials. Until next time.